Ah oh, man, you know, AB, aggressive babies, air balloons. Adrian the problem, Broner said, Earl gonna hurt that man. Um, I'm going to bite them. Um, Errol Spence um, in my next, my bite with them. Um. Manny Pacquiao. Errol Spence hurts Manny Pacquiao. He gonna run him into something. That Southpaw left. And I gotta talk about it till there's no more breath left. Let's get it. Smash the like button. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing make sure you guys smash the like button i drop daily content this was in it for you daily boxing content the latest and greatest before the pandemic i was covering the fights live but you know we still covering doing the watch parties giving you guys all the knowledge everything on boxing this is your one-stop shop on the sweet science if you like that kind of thing please subscribe hit the bell notification for post notifications so you don't miss anything i'm going to be talking about this fight extensively and that's Fox PBC pay-per-view. Errol Spence. Hey, stop that cap. Man down. Big Fish. And Manny Pacquiao. You see it on the screen. August 21st, 2021. Let's go. This is a great fight. Errol confirmed after Pacquiao announced the fight. He said, done deal. See you in Vegas. The biggest fight of the year. Man down. Hashtag Spence. Pacquiao. Hashtag Strat Season. Big Fish. Hashtag Blame by. You got Blame by. These country boys is different. These Texas boys is different. Now, I I keep I, I got a video coming, but you see Arrow, he out here, he hitting it. Oh, hey, hey, stop that cat. You know, he hitting the jig, he hitting the little dance, dancing on him. And I got a video coming about it. So this is why you guys got to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Arrow Spence, big fight, big opportunity. He has the opportunity to potentially potentially retire a legend and let adrian broner tell it who has been in the ring with both he sparred and there's legendary sparring stories about what happened at the olympic training center i think it was between errol spence and adrian broner they're now friends um you've seen them politic together at fights and stuff errol spence has always showed respect to adrian broner and like i said they've sparred before and then of course adrian broner he he a fool with it so at the end of the day people don't give credit to broner this man is willing to fight anybody like people they always hold his record or his losses against him but i gotta give broner a lot of credit because he's a dog like he really will fight you he really will fight you i mean look at the names on his his bill win lose or draw he did fight mikey garcia he did fight a legend and manny pacquiao he did fight he called out Floyd, so, you know, he definitely wanted that fight. He didn't get it, but he fought hard-hitting Madonna after fighting a lighter puncher in Pauli Malignaggi, right? Sean Porter, Antonio DeMarco when he was number one in the division. People, they always, boxing is, is such a fickle sport, and that's the only thing that kind of saddens me in the sport of boxing is that you have fickle fans, and Broner, when he was walking out with Kendrick Lamar and Kodak Black and rapping on his way out and dancing... You know, everything was lit. But then a couple of L's and then people try to write you off and just totally disrespect you. So you got to I like to not just look at the bad or negativity. I have to also, you know, give credit where credit is due. And at the end of the day, Broner will fight anyone. Now, Broner did an interview with ES News. Shout out to them for that. He says that he think Errol Spence. Who, who is that? This man at the subway. Oh, wow. Eat fresh looking at um, he said that he believes that Errol's going to hurt Pacquiao bad. I'll link to Ellie's video in the description. Ellie got an exclusive with him, ES News. And he says that he believes that Manny Pacquiao going to get ran into a shot. Now, one thing I got to admit is this is one of the best recent Southpaw versus Southpaw. Like, in, um, I know other fighters are like Southpaw. Like, I'm trying to think, when's the last time Terrence Crawford fought a Southpaw? But I'm not talking about more or less like ambidextrous fighters. I'm talking about natural born Southpaws. Errol Spence versus Mandy Pacquiao is one of the greatest matchups, no matter what their fighting stance is. But definitely, if we're looking at the, you don't always see two Southpaws in action. So I have a lot of questions about this particular fight. I'm rocking with man down, big fish. I think he beats Pacquiao. Um, 
he showed you a lot of people are sleeping on him still. He showed you he can box in the Mikey Garcia fight. He showed you he can um, survive after something as crazy as this. So the the kid got heart. He can box his jab. Did a lot of Texas fighters, or at least the prominent ones, him and the Charlos, they all have masterful piston like jabs. That's going to be that's going to be hard for Pacquiao to not get around. And then again, this is like the best Southpaw versus Southpaw matchup that we've seen in quite some time. I guess the other one on paper would be like maybe Guillermo El Chicao Rigondeaux versus Vasil Lomachenko based on what they had accomplished more so in the amateurs um, and a little bit in the pros, but just being two time gold medalists apiece and then they fought each other, but the fight kind of underwhelmed. I, it just didn't look, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it didn't live up to the expectations that, that most of us had. But this, I think, will. I think Errol Spence, he, you know, he has a great trainer in Derek James. You see him right here. He gets great work. He'll probably work with Jamel Charlo since they both have upcoming fights. I can't confirm that I'm not Errol's coach, but definitely uh, one of the best Southpaw versus Southpaw matches that we've ever seen, you know, on paper. And I think based on the temperament of both fighters, it, it really will deliver to that and deliver to be one of those type of action fights. Errol survived the accident look regular in his last fight he's been low which is to me a good sign just like Gervonta davis both guys have been pretty low that just means they live in that camp life broner who has experience with both he fought many pacquiao i covered this fight for you guys on the channel had a great time in vegas um broner lost to pacquiao pacquiao said he was sick in the fight broner didn't get knocked down or knocked out but he admits that he did get hurt in that fight and he has experience with both guys. So just knowing Errol Spence and probably watching him spar and sparring him himself, he says that Pacquiao is going to run into something. Now, the danger with Pacquiao is just that he's so frenetic. He's a whirlwind. So he might jump in and, you know, this is the fastest guy that I can recall Errol Spence fighting probably in his career, the most erratic style. But we'll see. Pacquiao hasn't had a knockout since I don't know. So a lot of people are saying that Pacquiao is going to knock out Errol Spence. I've seen, you know, I've seen a combination of just different predictions, but who was the last person that Pacquiao really knocked out? You know what I mean? He didn't knock out Jeff Horn. He hurt, he hurt, he hurts pretty much most of the people he fought, but I can't think of the last guy offhand that he knocked out. Chris Algieri didn't knock out. So um, he did not knock out Keith Thurman, had him leak in split decision loss. He didn't drop or stop Broner. Oh, Matisse. But Matisse kind of looked washed, just to be honest. Before that, Jeff Horn, Jesse Vargas, Bradley, Floyd. Yeah, see, he hadn't knocked out nobody in quite some time. So people are kind of, it really dates back. People, he's a legend and all that, but it dates back to 2000. And wow, because he got knocked out in that fight. When is the last time he had a knockout? Bro, he hasn't had a knockout since Floyd told him to take the test in 2009 Miguel Cotto because if you remember right after the fight Floyd said yeah I moved up and wait I just I, I wasn't running through no damn body yeah I'll fight him I just want to be on the even playing field Pacquiao he's a hell of a fighter young hungry lion but yeah so basically since the Miguel Cotto fight he hasn't really had a knockout and you know he knocked out hat and bad so that's like 2009 again you could say the Lucas Matisse fight but he, he looked washed to me after the Danny Garcia fight and then definitely the Postal fight. So on record, this is his last in 2018. But I just think he, you know, he was like far gone. So Broner believes the guy he shared the ring with will get hurt bad, bad by Errol Spence. Two of the top Southpaws. Let me know if you agree with Broner. Link in the description. Use my link in the description to get to buddy. An awesome way to level up your YouTube content. Make money on this youtube platform like yours truly i use tubebuddy every day that i upload videos which is daily for videos like this it can help you to click the link in the description set up tubebuddy or also get espn plus as a standalone app let me know if errol spence hurts pacquiao badly and stops him as broner ah oh, man you know ab algebra books has declared thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button we working